Hi everyone, today I'm going to do the tag video, my go-to look for my face. I was tagged by so many people that I don't really remember all who tagged me, but thank you for tagging me. Um, you know, this is pretty much my face, my same go-to face that I do day after day, so this will be a quick and easy video, except for the only thing that's changed in the last lately is my are my eyes and I did a video about my new eye look and I will link that video below okay you need to simmer down she gets so wound up in here um one thing let's see to start with I didn't bring in my foundation I have two foundations I use either Chanel the uh, perfection perfection Lumiere or I use the Garnier BB Cream. I know, it's a big, you know, from Chanel high end to a drugstore. And I kind of alternate between those two. Today, I do have on a Chanel, it was a sample that my daughter sent me. Um, and I don't even know what it was, but I just decided to use that today. And then... Um, for my blush, I'm using the Michael Kors. This was the one that was in with the Estee Lauder, um, you know, the Estee Lauder Holiday Kit. And I am using this little highlighter from Tarte. This was in that four piece kit, the holiday kit that came out at Christmas time. And I used this brush from techniques and I just do a little bit right there and a little bit right there and I kind of go up by my eyes and a little bit right there and that's pretty much it um, then my eyes I do the uh, tight line with my Estee Lauder pencil which that is in my video about my eyes I forgot to bring that in um, I use the Dallas bronzer. I really like this. And I like the brush that comes with it. I know a lot of people don't, but I use the brush that comes with it. And I just use a little bit under my chin because voila, now I only have three chins instead of four. And I always do a little bit up here with the bronzer. Because as we get older, we lose our baby hair up there. So I read somewhere that that's a good thing to do to kind of highlight what little baby hair we do have left. Um, and then, of course, my mascara, my go-to mascara is the Voluminous Original from L'Oreal. I've been using that, this mascara for more years than I care to think about. More than my since before my kids were born. It's my go-to. I have a backup always of it when it's on sale. It usually goes on sale, buy one, get one half off. And once in a while, it'll be a buy one, get one free. When it's the buy one, get one free, that's when I'll stock up. And I do use other mascaras. I have a Jordana also open. I don't like to have too many mascaras open, you know. I'm sure you're the same way. So I do have a Jordana open and then the L'Oreal one. And I have a Dior mascara waiting in the wings and a Chanel. The new Chanel Inmitable. Inmitable. Anyway, so that's my mascara. Um, the lipstick I've been using is this from Max Factor. This is one that my friend Deanna sent to me. I have been... I love this lipstick. I have a pimple. It's not a cold sore. It's a pimple, but it looks like a cold sore. And it just won't go away. Anyway, so this is the lipstick that I've been wearing. And then, of course, for my eyes, the, the Naked Basics palette. Look at, look at who's right there. Look how cute. How cute are you? Here's the Naked Basics palette, and again, I'll link the video for my eyes down below because that's the only thing that's changed in the last 
I don't know, for a long time. But this is my pretty much my go-to everyday face. It doesn't take very long. It just takes a few minutes to do. Nothing special, nothing fancy. The one thing I do try to stay away from are powders because powders, for me, with all these wrinkles, the powders will just sink right in. So I do try to stay away from them. She's too much. Um, we're headed to Spokane today, so we're getting ready to leave. I'll be gone for a couple of days. My dad is in Spokane in the hospital. He had another episode. It's like I can't take him anywhere. We had a doctor's appointment Monday, and at the doctor's appointment, he coded and had a heart attack. They brought in the, they called 911, got the ambulance, took him to the hospital, and he had the appointment to have this procedure done today on Wednesday in Spokane and so I on Monday I asked them at the hospital if they would just please send him to Spokane because I didn't want him coming home and then have to worry about him like dropping over on me what he's having is a defibrillator implanted into his chest and what happens, he gets dizzy and he kind of passes out and he kind of comes in and out of it. Um, and it's all about a heart rate, something about his heart rate. It has nothing to do with clogged arteries or any of that. So um, they implanted the defibrillator this morning and I just talked to him. He sounds great. He's cranky. He wants to come home. So he's back to his old self. So my mother and I are headed to Spokane this afternoon. We're going to spend the night up there and then bring him home tomorrow. It's a beautiful day, so I expect a beautiful drive. And it'll kind of be good to get out of town for a little bit. Anyway, um, I want to show you, I did get my Zoya order. You know, they had the three, you got three free. And one of them I got is Storm. I have that on today. This is a gorgeous polish. I love this polish and look at the sparkles all those different colors and when the Sun hits it it's gorgeous I also got this one is uh, Monica and this one is called Natty I I love Zoya polish I think they do I think they have a great formula um, they're very well priced I bought one of their dream kits and I think this one is gorgeous this one is, I got the gold, the gold one is called Ziv, the silver one is called Trixie, which I think that's pretty, and then this white pearly one is called Janessa, and actually I think these two would be pretty on a, like a half and half manicure, and the gold, this gold does not go with my skin tone very well. But what I plan on doing is a base coat of either a pink or a blue that does look good on my skin. And then I'll put that gold over the top of it and then it should look alright. I'm going to try that anyway. Because I put a little bit of that gold on last night and it, it does not look very good on my skin. Anyway, so, oh, and then I also got a package from my friend Deanna. I want to show you real quick what she sent me. She is so sweet. She sent this uh, Nails Ink Leather Effect. And there's little um, skull and crossbones, like crystals. That I can't wait to try those. Um, she sent a Berry M Jelly in Prickly Pear. And then this foil one. See how that cap is? This polish kind of dries like that. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Really pretty. I had this on the other day. Deanna, you just, you're so sweet to me. And she sent me this blush by three from Sleek. Um, and I, did, I was wearing this the other day. I really like it. It's got three different colors in it. And they're bright. But they don't, of course, they don't go on that bright. They sheer out. But I love that, that little palette. And then she sent this 
little lip crayon from Barry M Cosmetics, which I've the only thing I've ever had from Barry M has been their nail polish. So I'm kind of excited to use this. I did have it on a little bit yesterday. I'm going to put this one in my purse along with all my 900 other lipsticks that Deanna has sent me. Thank you again, Deanna. You know I love it. I love the little bag. I love that you send the bag because I like to keep these little bags. Um, anyway, so that's about all I have for you guys. I hope you're having a great day. And thank you so much for watching. And I tag anybody who wants to do this. If you haven't done it already, it was kind of quick and easy for me anyway. I, you know, I've said it before, I don't have a huge makeup collection. So it was pretty simple for me. Anyway, and thanks again to everybody who tagged me. And thanks for watching. Bye.